after today's monster rain, hopes for the historic NASCAR street race in Chicago are now back on track. We're learning that just before we came on the air here at 530. CBS 2 Sarah Maki joins us live in Grant Park on a rather frustrating day for both drivers and fans. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, but those frustrations have given way now to optimism as the gates are finally open and it looks like things are back on track. I want you to take a look at the crowds that we have coming through the gates here right now. But the people who came here first thing this morning, they were greeted with a very different scenario, a seemingly unending storm that continued for hours. So much water pooling on the track that it caused serious problems for NASCAR and for our camera. Fans hoping to hear the thunderous roar of NASCAR through the loop Sunday morning. Instead, found this. The soft patter of unending rainfall, continuing the rain delays that forced many of these same fans home early one day prior. Well, we were out yesterday in the dance outside and it was raining, so it's just that kind of weekend. You got to go with it. Go dance in the puddles or something. As the rain fell, so did morale. Some smiles lasting just long enough for a photograph. Very disappointed. Some fans deciding to cut out early. It's supposed to rain past three o'clock, so we decided that there's no point standing out in the rain till then. Rain pooled on the track and around the ticketed spectator spaces. This would be in the Petit Club, yeah. uh, but they've got it closed right now for flooding. There's a city inspector trying to determine if there's an electrical issue. After noon, organizers canceled the Miranda Lambert and Charlie Crockett concerts, citing flooded fields before announcing Cole Custer as the winner of the Xfinity Series race, since he led the pack Saturday when they paused for lightning. It's definitely one of the weirdest wins I've ever been a part of, for sure, but we'll take it. Custer called it an awkward win as fans crossed their fingers for better weather before the Cup Series. Do you have any words for the people who are still hoping to make it out today? Good luck. <laughs> All right, as for that good luck, it looks like it worked out. Now it's up to everyone on the racetrack to see who will be taking home the big prize tonight. Live today, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. All right, Sarah, thanks very much.